What's up guys? Welcome to your 148th Android tutorial for the new Boston where hopefully we'll finish this get method example class which is again going to just process some information from the internet uh, via this HTTP client that we set up. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up a URI which is basically going to be our website that we're referring to to get some data. So we're just going to create a URI and we're just going to call this website something like that. We're going to set this equal to a new URI and then we give the website we want to interpret the data from. So HTTP uh, forward slash forward slash www.mybringback.com um, and that's our website that we're going to use and again you have to add your imports so we can use the URI and now what we want to do is we want to set up basically the method that we want to use through our client and since this is an example for git uh, get information we're going to use HTTP get uh, to process that data or get the information from that website so we're going to set up a variable or instance of the class HTTP get and we're going to call this our request what we're going to do we're going to set this equal to again just a new HTTP get uh, method and then or instance of uh, this class import and then what we can do is we can say our request dot set URI and then we're going to refer to our URI that we just set up which we call our website and uh, now we're going to use the get method with the set URI again just from mybringback.com now what we're going to do is we're going to set up basically the information that we're uh, getting from the website and that's going to be our response so we're going to set up HTT P response and we're going to call this just response as well or re, yeah, response and basically this is the most important method uh, to make everything happen it's an execute method on our client so we're going to say our variable our HTTP variable which we call the client um, and then we're just going to say dot execute as you can see it takes within its parameters basically a a get method which we called you know request and again we set up our website connected to our request um, or get method and that's what we're gonna actually request so we're just gonna say request like that and then add our imports again and everything's good to go so now that we've set up our method to kinda achieve some of that data we want to make it readable or we need to convert it into a string and uh, that's why we set up this buffered reader that's going to allow us to read some of the information that we're getting so we're going to set our buffered reader which we called in is equal to a new buffered reader and it takes within its parameters an input stream so we're going to have to create a new input stream uh, reader and within its parameters we're just going to get uh, our response that we sent out so we're going to say a response and then we can get uh, entity and that's just going to open up the the entity of the response if there is one and then we're also going to say get the content after we open up the entity and uh, there we go we've set up our buffered reader and again we just import our input stream reader as well and it looks like we're probably going to run out of time for this tutorial so probably probably be one more tutorial before we finish up this method thought we could get it done but it might it's taking a little bit too long but let's just talk over everything that we've done again we set up a buffered reader to be null and a string which is our actual return data to be null we haven't gotten to that yet but then what we do is we set up a HTTP client uh, which is just going to be kind of the default client we set up a website that we want to process some information from and we set up some sort of request or some sort of method and since we're just trying to get the data we're going to use the HTTP uh, get there's also a put there's also like a post method that you can use but right now we're just working with the get method then once we set up our request which again is just our get method we're going to set the URI to our website and then we're going to try and execute everything so we're going to refer to our client and we're going to execute the request that we set up and then we need some way to read it so we're going to set up a, a buffered reader which is going to take input stream reader um, which is basically converting this to input stream and 
I have one extra parentheses there so just delete that and then that's gonna allow us to get some sort of a buffered reader which we're gonna decode in the next tutorial um, but uh, thanks again for watching guys I'll catch you in the next one